gonna do real quick um, trivia. We're giving away Booty Babe uh, body care gift bags. So you're gonna want this stuff because there's a product in there um, called lip balm, and it's not for the lips you think. Um, <laughs> they, have, they have really dope products for like the body parts that people don't like when I just start talking about in conversation. So, um, so for this next segment, um, we're gonna do some women's history trivia because it's Women's History Month, and the segment called her. Uh, so I need two volunteers to come up who want to compete. Make it quick. We're on a timer. Make it real, just like literally your body, you rise up, you come here, you answer <laughs> questions, not a big deal, you get prizes. Are we back? Go. Go. Okay. Two, two, whatever two bodies come up here, will... Are they like history questions? <laughs> oh my god! Two volunteers! Two volunteers! It literally doesn't matter. Most of the answers are jokes. You'll figure it out. Wow, well, I've never had such a struggle to get volunteers. Well, We've got the A's here. That's my mom's name. Double A. Battery. Okay, we're gonna start. We're gonna start. If there was three of you, we could um, get our car fixed. Uh, so, all right. So we have questions here. I have a note. Megan keeps score. Okay. Our first. Oh wait, you have microboids. So write your answers on there. Okay. Um, so first question. Emmeline Cleveland was likely the first woman in America to perform major surgery when she successfully removed what in 1875? A, an ovarian tumor, B, the frontal lobe, C, a really bad pimple, or D, a Tinder date who ghosted her from her phone contacts. What did she successfully remove in 1875? Making the first, yeah, show it. A, ovarian tumor, A, you both won. <laughs> Which former president said women's rights is, quote, going to be the highest priority for the rest of my life? A, Bill Clinton, B, Ronald Reagan, C, Jimmy Carter, or D, their opinions are null and void until we have a woman president? Uh, which former president said women's rights is going to be the highest priority for the rest of my life? Um, you said D, yes, that's, you're both. Technically, I'll give you the points, but the answer was C. Jimmy Carter said this four years ago when he was 90. <laughs> the rest of your life, you got five years max to solve it. That was, I'm like, really? Go deal with your peanut farm. Um, women's rights started here when in 1857 female textile workers protested unfair working conditions and unequal rights. A. Chicago, B. New York, C. Boston, or D. Wherever the first Ivanka Trump factory was built. <laughs> A. Chicago, B. New York, C. Boston, or D. Wherever Ivanka Trump factory built. Boston, and then you said D. <laughs> Technically, I mean, I want it to be real, but uh, B. New York. Oh. Also, this was the site of the Triangle Shirtwaist Factory fire in 1911. Why couldn't we listen to women 50 years prior? They were like, hey, these seem like unsafe conditions, and they're like, whatever, put a pin in it. Oh, the worst death in America <laughs> up until that point. Um, anyway. So that wasn't fun. But, um, okay, what year did Texas finally elect its first Latina woman to Congress? A, 2009, B, 1975, C, 2018, or D, for a state made up of 14, 40% Latinx folks, this answer will depress you. Uh, so when did Texas finally elect Latina woman to Congress? A, 2009, B, 1975, C, 2018. <laughs> Anyone else? 2018. C. 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 B. 2018. Uh, yeah, 2018 is correct. Not me. Um, Rana Escobar and <laughs> Sylvia Garcia. Yeah. Sorry, are you, you're Allison, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I was never in a sorority. I didn't have to memorize names. Um, okay, this is an oldie but a good. I used this last year. Last question: Which of the following titles is not the name of a Maya Angelou poem? A. Still I Rise. B. I Know Why the Caged Bird Sings. C. No, 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 no. Or D. Why are you still talking to me when I clearly have headphones on? <laughs> D. D. 
50. Um, you're both correct. Uh, Allison technically won, but guess Woo! what? Job. Everyone wins. Everyone wins. Oh. We need to go that one. Um, I mean, technically no one wins because we don't have gender equality.